I'm an imposter with the grab hat. Beautiful setting.
This is unreal. Look at that water slide. So this water park was built in, I think it opened in 2004 and it lasted for like a couple years, but they spent 300 million US dollars building this park and it was just a total flop. But now it's just like being overtaken by nature and it's just amazing. Wow. And we're just getting started here. We are here at the abandoned water park. We rented a bike and parked just over here. And uh, we decided to take the road to less traveled here. And we're glad we did. Because I have not seen this on any of the YouTube videos we've watched. This is amazing. So it looks like this is an entrance to a lazy pool. And they have water slides of multiple kinds. emptying out into this pool here. And something just went through the bushes there. So there was a security looking guy that um, drove by on a motorcycle and uh, he said, hi. And I said, Sin Chao. And he said, he pointed to the motorbike and he said, motorbike? And then he pointed that way. Like, I think he was trying to tell me that we can't have the motorbike here. Um, but I just played dumb. I just, uh-huh. And he said motorbike, and I just kind of stared at him blankly. And, uh, he just drove off. So, don't fall into the pressure. <laughs> so, this is the motorbike we rented for today. Pretty similar price to the last one. It's, uh, just over $4.00. Which was, I think Charlie said it was 102,000 dong. Yeah, but he'd probably say 120 when we get back. Yeah, we haven't paid yet. And he has our passport, which is normal to hold on to the passport for a rental. But uh, we'll see how things go when we get back. It seemed legit. Uh, the speedometer does not work, but the fuel gauge does. not as nice as that Yamaha we had. This is a Nouveau. Is this like driving through the jungle?
is insane. Look how intricate it is. Wow. Oh, is that the dragon's claws that we're walking into? Uh, this has got to be one of the coolest abandoned things we've been to. <laughs> wow. Those claws. This is awesome. That's a few stairs. Wow. Come on guys, let's go down the belly of the beast. Is it bad when a bell tolls as soon as you're trying to enter a dark, scary place? So this would have been aquariums at one point. You can see the thick glass.
Yeah, this was the aquarium and it, it obviously was a aquarium tunnel. That you could go all the way through. But as you can see that the glass has been broken out of it. And there's a paint roller in the water. And then another big aquarium here. Tell you what I don't regret bringing. I regret a couple things we brought on this trip, but I don't regret bringing my hiking boots. I was gonna bring tennis shoes, but I brought boots. And they have protected my feet for on the motorbike, for walking on glass in this abandoned building, and uh, just having my feet feel safer. Wow, this is so Cool. I'll tell you what I regret bringing, and uh, Carrie from One Adventure at a Time, you were right, my big camera. I don't want to take it out on the motorbikes, uh, so when I come to cool places like this, I don't have it. Um, so yeah, you were right, I regret bringing it. <laughs> But I still have it in case I need it. Um, and I may get more bold with it. I don't know. I might just ship it back home. Uh, we'll see. <laughs> Watch your head. I was unintentional. <laughs> What is that? Oh, it's like a giant octopus. Ah. Ah. The jungle in here. This must be the tail. Is there room underneath of it? What's in there? Probably. What do you think, garbage? Yeah. Bunch of garbage. Just looks like a little storage room. This must be an old uh, concessions area. It would be cool to have seen this lit up. This is the main reason we came to Hue, 
was to see this. Here it's the Imperial City. <laughs> yeah. We want to see something that was abandoned in 2004. <laughs> Wasn't it the ancient capital? It's also called the Imperial City. Yeah. Some cows just resting over here. Keeping cool in the shade. Hi, baby cows. You're real pretty. Hello. Or do you speak Vietnamese? Xin chào. Xin chào bo. I think it's bo. Bo? I know, Mom. There's a helmet in here. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Uh, thanks for coming along with us to this awesome park and uh, who knows what we'll see next. Hit that subscribe button. Probably something awesome. Yeah. Bye now. Bye now. Let's go get some lunch. Oh yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah. So this is the entrance to the water park. Uh, if you are on a moped or on foot, you can just go this way. There's also a coffee shop up at the top. I'll try and find it on Google Maps and leave a link below for a, another entrance to bypass the main gate. 
but I don't see a real need to. Yeah, when we came in, we just blew right through there and then around and went up. We stopped at that parking lot where they were tar trying to charge people and then we stopped for and kind of assessed the area. Yeah. And Charlie noticed it looked like we could go around, and so we did. Hello. Oh, we went in. <laughs> uh, the guy that just drove by us actually just uh, pointed and said, "Go in, go in." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Okay, I just want to give you guys a little tip here, because um, you know, there's a few, few, a little bit of information online, but it's, it's a little unclear. Um, when you come in from the entrance which is over this way uh, and you take a left it's the shortest distance to the dragon which is what everybody wants to see uh, however there are some guys that have the road kind of blocked here and they're charging people money to get in but like this person just did, you can totally just drive around them. You know, you don't have to pay them to park. They're just there trying to get paid, which that's a pretty good hustle. I got to give it to them for that. Uh, a little dishonest, but still a hustle. Um, what we did was we took a right from the entrance and drove all the way over this bridge. It gets a little muddy once you get past uh, this uh, construction site here. So we kind of had to walk the scooter around that. And then we continued along this way and then the water park is over here with the water slides. And then you can continue on and we parked right here for free. Um, and then if you wanted to, you can continue from there all the way back around and just leave the short way. This would be the shortest route. Or just come this way, drive past these guys because they can't stop you. Um, they're, they're not allowed. They're selling waters though, which is good. Um, and then just continue on. That would be my suggestion. Uh, if you want to come see this dragon.